Hello again everybody and welcome to the Operation Sea Lion campaign in Illusion 2 Sturmovik Cliffs of Dover. This is going to be a hypothetical campaign depicting a German invasion of Great Britain set in September of 1940. This is an add-on campaign that's compatible with the Team Fusion mod. I'll have links to everything that I'm using down in the video description if you want to check it out for yourself. But let's have a quick look at the campaign and then get into the first mission. Now this is set up around the premise of the German 16th Army under von Rundstedt making a landing between Folkestone and Bexhill with our forces establishing local air superiority and supporting the beachhead and then the push inland. And I'm going to be part of JG53, we're going to be focusing on a lot of ground attack once this thing gets going. So feel free to pause and read the introduction, I'm just going to step right ahead to the first mission. Now we're going to start by just doing a quick air patrol over Calais, I'm going to be flying on the wing of Karl Meyer, a German ace, and the premise behind this campaign is, among other things, that you start out as a wingman and then kind of work your way into the position of a flight lead, which sounds like a lot of fun, that's one of the reasons I'm doing this campaign. Now it looks like these missions do have mission success criteria, something I'm always a little bit leery of, it looks like to progress in the campaign I'm going to have to at least shoot down one plane. But we'll see as things go how hard it is or how easy it is to make these success criteria happen and advance the campaign. But in either case, yeah, this is just a very simple mission. We take off from our airfield and I'll go to the map right here just to the southwest of Calais. I'll be able to tell which one it is because there's a little triangle of airfields right here. And it's just the one that's closest to Calais and closest to the coast. So we'll take off, head out to the invasion fleet and just fly cover. Okay, and we're lined up here ready for takeoff, and just like it said in the briefing, I believe I am going to have to engage the autopilot momentarily and then disengage it to get the flight lead to take off. Okay, there he goes. Now, let me go ahead and run it on up. Make sure that I can stay up with him. Okay, a little rudder to the left. Okay, now let's go ahead and slowly advance the throttle. We'll just keep her tracking on down here, okay? So, coming up through 120. Okay, nose coming down. Okay, good enough. Okay, let's just let her fly on off on its own here, I hope. Come to think, but I didn't even set the trim there. I wasn't really thinking. Okay, let me go gear up. I should have uh, I should have preset the trim. I was, well, I don't know. That's not too bad. It was about negative 2.5, and it was, it was very controllable. I had no trouble there whatsoever. Okay, but it didn't really fly itself off as I have two and three out there getting airborne as well. So I just need to stay up with this guy, and well, I've got it. I've got it going as fast as it'll go, and he's... Yeah, I'm barely keeping up, but that's fine. That's fine. That is one thing that I've always... Uh, that was kind of off-putting in the original Lucian 2. If you ever flew the BF-109 in that, it was just, to me at least, impossible to stay up with your flight members. And, well, that was a lot of the reason that I never really got into the original Lucian 2 that much. Even right now, boy, I am just maxed out. I could probably take over a little bit more manual control of the prop pitch and possibly manipulate it to catch up, but I'm not going to worry about it. Now, okay, hey, there we go. We've got the invasion fleet out there to the right as we get over the coast. You can see there's Calais right there. Okay, Tallaho Spitfire is 12 o'clock, bearing 330, range 7. And one's telling us to attack bandits. Okay, he's down low. Okay, I've been running here at about 1.3 for three or four minutes. I can't keep it firewalled like this. So I'm just going to, okay, three contacts out there. It looks like the lead is going in on them. Let me do a quick check of the guns. Okay, just fine. Okay, leads out there. I've got no other contacts other than the three. I'm going to go for altitude. I don't know why lead isn't <laughs> doing the same, but no big deal. Okay, head on. Okay, let me come on around and just fly patient. I've got to Gotta support my guy here, who is down there, coming around low. Okay, two Spitfires. And yeah, there's there's no way I'm going to be able to keep track of this and keep track of who my lead is and who isn't. I'm just going to go for some targets of opportunity right here, like the Spitfire crossing below me right now. We pull the throttle in just a touch. It's a good opportunity to do like a little hit and run slash in and out attack in the the 109. We just lead this guy a little bit. Okay, now I can turn with him a little bit. Okay, I need to uh, support this guy. He's on uh, so one of my guys tail. Okay, let me come around. Just get on him. 
sure I don't, uh, okay, got some good hits there. Make sure I don't get hit myself. Check my old safe. I had Spitfire, I think, right back there on me. Okay, two more below, crossing under. Let me go back up for some altitude. How am I doing on temperatures? I'm doing just fine. 80, well, it's up there about 90. Let me back off just a touch. I still got my radiators wide open. Okay, you are, were you a Spitfire on 109 or were you a 109 on Spitfire? It's hard to tell. Okay, let me back off. I can't really tell anything is zoomed in like that. Okay, you are... You're a Spit on a 109. Let me turn into you. Let me lag a little bit. Come on up and then I'll come on down on him. Yep, confirmed. Okay, let me check my six. Just fine. Okay, had one go into the uh, into the ocean right there. Okay, let me come up. I lost uh, lost track of stuff. Okay, mission complete. I can RTB. I don't think so. Okay, let me see if I can get a good beat on this guy. I don't need to try to turn with him. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Well, I stand corrected. I can turn with this guy just fine. Pull some lead. He's coming around. Let me not shoot my own guy. Although I need to dispatch this guy quickly. Good hit. Oh, that was close. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see how we're doing here. Doing here. Oh, no. I, d I did shoot. I didn't mean to. Oh, <laughs> well. I'll have to check the tape on that. That couldn't have been. Well, I hope I didn't hit him that bad. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Blenheim is 4 o'clock. Okay, come on around. I've got two. Well, single Spitfire, same one, I think. On a 109. Okay, going up. I'm having no trouble at all keeping up with him. Okay, I'll let the other guy get his shots in. Oh, that was close on me, wasn't it? I'll just kind of back off here. Okay, I found myself right on this guy's tail. Completely unintentional. Okay, and right there. Okay, let me back off a little bit. Go into a little bit of a scissor just so that I don't really overtake him. Although I've lost a lot of control authority here. Was I? I wonder if I took a hit back there because it didn't feel like I had much control authority just then. Okay, let me go for some altitude. Let's do a quick check. I think I was just low on airspeed is all it was. Okay, my six is still clear. Still calling out Blenheims, which is just fine. So, let's see here. I think it's just down to this little battle. I need to try to make something happen. That's a 109. That's uh, another Spitfire. A couple more. And that's... Oh, my goodness. Are you friendlies? You most certainly are not. Boy, we just got jumped by a lot of guys. Okay, let me... <laughs> let me see what I can do about this. Not much, I don't think. I'm on the tail end Charlie right here. Is that a hurricane? Uh, hard to tell from this aspect. Looks like another another spit. Sure turns like a hurricane, though. Okay, let me see if I can stay on him. Yeah, hurricane from a side angle. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to turn, I'll turn with him. I need to disengage here momentarily. I'm not going to be able to get a good shot on this guy. Okay, how am I doing? Am I... I'm clear. Just going to go high. And I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up with him in either case. How am I doing here? Still doing fine on temps. I'm just running around with the radiators wide open here. Just thought I don't have to worry about it. Okay, opportunity. Right here. Let me come low. Slash in on the tail end Charlie right here. I'm not going to get a shot, I don't think. Oh, well. Unless I pass underneath him and come up here. That'd be a bad idea, though. Although I think I can still do it if I come up here and then pop around on it. Hey, okay, keep the nose up. Now, let's slash on down with him. Okay, one turn in, one not. Okay, one of our guys apparently just went down. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do anything with that, that little turning fight right there. Let me see here. I got two right here. Let me go for this guy. Yeah, I'm into a, a completely different type of battle here. I'm not going to be able to turn with these guys at all, so it's just going to be 
try to get my shots in when I can. I, I feel bad about losing track of where my flight is, but... I mean, you're seeing what I'm seeing on the screen right now, with the exception of some external views, so... I'm sure you can sympathize. Boy, that's three Spitfires on, on one of my guys. At least try to cut... I'm in a bad position to try to cut these guys off at all. I just need to stay high and keep coming around. Because if I had gone low, they would have been a good, in a good position on me. I just need to conserve energy. And boy, I've been going around with this thing in uh, the combat setting for more than five minutes now, so... I don't know. I might blow an engine here eventually, but I need the uh, I need the the engine power. Okay, same group. Okay, this is a little bit. No, it's not a good setup at all, is it? It's better though. I think I can make something like this work. It'll be the same same situation as before. Just a little head-on snapshot. Not very effective because yeah, I just can't get into a good position. I can't turn with those guys, and they're just in a straight up turning battle so let me see what I can do over here you are not one of ours are you no you no you've got a worse shape it's almost easier to classify and to tell what they are zoomed out just looking at the at the silhouette than it is zoomed in bit of a long range shot there. I didn't get, have a good a good setup at all. Let me see if I can just turn on this guy. That's another Spitfire, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going fast enough that the others, it's not going to be able to come up and, and grab me. Okay, he's starting to maneuver a little bit. Oh, come on. He pulled on in here. Ah, it's Hurricane, isn't it? Ah, I couldn't tell at the very end. Let me break off of that one. Because I have <laughs> three more on my tail, unfortunately. Okay, one. Okay, that was a friendly down below me. Okay, that one's getting. That one's going in on the uh, guy down there. Let me turn in. And boy, that's just just like four air, five aircraft right there. Those are none of those are ours. I thought they were in a tail chase on one of ours, but no, that's just straight up whole lot of aircraft. Now I'm just going to come in here fast, <laughs> try to take out one of the tailing aircraft and and then climb. So fast in fact that it's really really hard to control doing this. I mean really hard to control. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't get him at all. Okay, took a hit myself. Okay, I need to break off. Actually, I need to go for some altitude here. Because they will not be able to keep up with me at all doing this. I just need to, yeah, maintain energy. And, boy, I have I taken... Okay, there we go. Yeah, that was all down to airspeed right there. Got this guy on me. He'll not be able to catch up with me. But I am going to just extend out some more. It's just the one that's coming after me here. The rest are heading back. Because we're still, yeah, we're still right here at Calais. For the invasion fleet right below me. Hey, I've got a Wee Man, okay. That guy's breaking off, okay, you're breaking off, I'm going to go after you. Since now I have some support. If I can find you again. Did you break back, was that you going in? Or are those... Those bombs hitting the hitting the water, something jettisoning. Ah, who knows? I've lost that guy uh, wherever he, wa he was and whatever he was. And yeah, my fight lead's gonna chew me out for for losing him, but. Yeah, I think that was uh, a little bit beyond my capabilities to stay up with them and to figure out what was what. I mean, you're seeing, again, what I'm seeing, so not a whole lot I could have done about that. Okay, I think that's about enough for now. I'm going to head back to base, rearm, refuel, and... See what else comes in. I guess that wave is over. 
Okay, enemy group in sector M5, now with 100 meters. Okay, I'm going to disregard that for now because anything in my my area, like halfway to the channel and in, I would be able to see, and everything else is yeah, everything has appeared to have headed down or headed back to base. Okay, so let's start to think about recovering here. Pull the throttle on in. That's a big old fleet. Well, actually, no, that's not a big fleet at all when you get right down to it. I mean, just trying to imagine what the English Channel would have looked like, I mean, before D-Day, 1944, and before something like this, even just a, a small invasion force heading across the coast, I mean, it would probably be uh, two, three, four, five times that many ships just for a single army. But it's still, I mean, that's still impressive right there, just the view that we get. Okay, so here's the, yeah, here's the field right there. It's the one with the, like, with the little track around it right there, and I have all my, I think all the other fields are probably deserted, so I know my field because it has all the other equipment on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and, got the throttle pulled back in. And I'll just set up here. So, yeah, that was, that was interesting. It's, uh, uh, I was trying to use the 109 to as much an advantage as I could do. I probably tried to get into too many turning fights. Way too many turning fights, as a matter of fact, but it's okay because, uh, I mean, it, I think a human player would be able to penalize me a lot more uh, for, uh, for that style of flying than the AI could in that case. I mean, it, in any flight sim that you do, the AI is going to be at somewhat of a dis disadvantage as long as you're paying attention, as long as you're keeping your speed up. So, I don't know. I didn't think it was easy by any means. I took some hits, and I, I think the advantage that I had was just that I'm a patient person, and I didn't I take every time the obvious uh, shots and the obvious opportunities to jump. I tried as much as I could to pick and choose my battles, and when it was time to break off and just extend, I broke off and extended, so I can't complain all in all. Okay, now let's go ahead and go flaps down. I'm just kind of doing this with my right hand flying with my left. It's going to take a while. I'm just kind of keeping the mouse button held as the flaps come down. And then I'll just turn around and land. I'm not going to worry about ATC. Okay, airspeed coming down to about 190. I've got the nose coming down just to maintain that. Won't be able to do anything about it until I can get a hand free. There we go. Now I'm going to go throttle up just a touch. I'm just going to turn around to the left. This guy should land as as soon as I do in, in either case. Actually, no. Let me let me do this. Can I? Well, I'm just a wingman, so I'm not going to be able to like issue issue commands or anything. Was that? Oh, for goodness sake, man! <laughs> it's it's the curse of the. The Bunyap AI wingman. I, I, I do that so often, but it's a mystery. Let me go ahead and get our gear down before I forget it. And let me throttle up before I play to the ground myself. Now, I can't complain about the wingman doing that if I turn around and do it. Okay, I got one green. Okay, ooh, okay, two green. I was about to... I might have to go around anyway. I will have to go around. I was a little bit sluggish with the gear coming down that time. That's probably normal, but then again, it could have something to do with the battle damage I took. I'm just going to maintain 200, keep the nose up, and shoot this approach one more time. Okay, again, I can do it just from straight around like this. And yeah, that throttle setting is like perfect for <laughs> maintaining the speed that I want. Just a little bit of rudder to maintain coordination as I come around. Just going to do 200. Right out here, I can actually start to cut into the speed a little bit. It's not going to hurt anything. I'll just bring the nose up. Because I want to cut into the speed some to bring me to a three-point attitude for touchdown. Blend in a little bit of rudder to bring me on around on a good, solid path here. And this should work out just fine. Okay, now let me... Keep the nose up, pull the throttle in. Although I want to keep a little bit of throttle on it, don't I? Just so that I don't, uh... Oh no, I need to pull it in just to uh, cut, in, cut in some speed. A little harder than I would have liked. 
Okay, now let me see if I can not ground loop it. The only other time I've landed this thing was, uh... Yeah, I ground looped it, but yeah, just, uh... Yeah, I was paying attention that time and was just able to, using some uh, differential braking, bring it on around and get her to a good stop right there without uh, bringing it around too out of control. So where do I want to go? Is it... Actually, let me hit the brakes real quick. For here, right? The last time, I think... No, that was a different field, though. Okay, so let me bring it on around here and I'll go over to where that equipment is. I'll try not to flip it over. Boy, I'm taxiing a little bit more aggressively than I should here. And I've got to remember the tricks from the previous series of if I want to keep it going straight, it requires a little bit of differential braking, a lot of differential braking, because the more I push, push up the throttle, the more it wants to take me over to the left. So I'm just going to take it out right here and park it and shut her down right up here. Okay, throttle in. Let's take her around here to the right. And boy, that's that's just neat. That's something you don't see every day. Well, unless you're flying Illusion 2 Cliffs of Dover. All the uh, all the maintenance set up there, the the test fixtures, looks like it's got the looks like it's got the hoist right there for an engine change. Boy, that's that's just neat. Need to see that much attention to detail in a sim. Okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and go. Oh, let's see here. How do you shut this thing down? I can do it in DCS, which you've uh, which you've seen. I think in this one it's just as easy as going over to the fuel cock. Let's go magnetos. Off. Let's go. Power. Off. I, I keep trying to click the electrical kill switch right there, but to no avail. Okay, we'll get the canopy open real quick. Okay, so that's that's mission one. I'm going to keep these as simple as I can, just so that we can get some progress. And since this is the first video of a series, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more, please help me out by leaving a like. Feel free to leave comments and feel free to share this video or any others that I do anywhere that you would like. That would help me out a lot. And I'm going to press straight on into the next mission. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.